is paracetamol good enough for high grade fevers are there special drugs needed for high grade fever let us see in today's video hi friends i am dr karamat this is scientific doctor channel in this channel videos are being released on health and medicine related information if you want to see such videos kindly subscribe to this channel also press the bell icon adjacent to it to get instant notifications whenever new content is released today's video is about paracetamol is it good enough for high grade fevers many of us have the notion that paracetamol is not enough to combat high grade fever and we often use medicines like mefenamic acid with brand names such as meftal mefenam mefkine or ibuprofen with brand names like brufen ibujisic for high grade fevers are these medicines justified for usage during high grade fevers let us see the science behind it first of all we must understand fever as an malfunction alarm many of today's electrical and electronic instruments will have malfunction alarms whenever there is trouble inside there will be an alarm going on and there will be an error code fever is just like that there is some trouble going on inside the body and you have an alarm going on which is fever whenever an alarm goes on in a machine what do you do you may instantly silence it but you see what is the error how to rectify it and then go on about it similarly for fever you may use temporary measures like paracetamol these are called antipyretics to reduce the temperature but the ultimate aim is to find out what is causing fever and to get rid of it a simple medicine like paracetamol may be enough to give comfort to the child even if the fever doesn't come down completely there is no need to use any higher drugs obviously drugs like mefenamic acid or ibuprofen are more effective than paracetamol in bringing down the temperature let us take a hypothetical situation if i have another super drug which will control fever irrespective of whatever is the cause for 10 days is it a good drug no no that is a very bad drug because the infection or the problem inside the body will go unabated but because the fever is not there we will be less careful about it so that is in fact a dangerous drug so whenever you have fever we must understand what is causing it and try to address that problem rather than suppress only the fever secondly the center for disease control in united states of america as well as who even our government agencies central and state governments have advised to avoid anything except paracetamol for fever control during dengue epidemics why is it so dengue may cause blood leak drugs like ibuprofen or mefenamic acid which belong to a group called nsaids may also aggravate this condition and may cause blood leaks secondly dengue may lead to decreased perfusion that is decreased blood supply resulting in shock in this condition if one takes these kind of drugs that is nsaids it may also lead to kidney injury that's why all the recommending bodies advise against the use of these nsaids that is ibuprofen or mefenamic acid especially during dengue season this recommendation is not only for proven dengue cases but for all fever cases during dengue season ultimately even paracetamol has to be used judiciously the role of paracetamol is not to treat the disease but to give comfort we should use paracetamol only in the appropriate dosages in the appropriate time frame many people if the fever is not controlled take high dosage of paracetamol or take it in a short interval this should be avoided as paracetamol can also lead to liver dysfunction if taken in an improper dose ultimately we have to understand whenever the fever is not responding to paracetamol or if it is very high grade we should see what is causing this fever rather than worrying about only suppression of fever friends today we have understood that even for high grade fevers especially in dengue season paracetamol itself is enough that to in the specified dose and time frame 
If you like this video, share it among your friends and relatives. To see such videos, subscribe to this channel. Till we meet again, bye.